Arc 3, Episode 19 of the DNR Podcast is brought to you today by you lovely folks over on our Patreon at patreon.com slash d-a-n-d-r. When you're all caught up on the show, patreon.com slash d-a-n-d-r is the perfect spot to grab all kinds of behind-the-scenes stuff, outtakes, show intros that we just didn't use, all kinds of original programming, and groups that just don't make it into our main feed. Check out patreon.com slash D-A-N-D-R to find out more. Previously for Group C, with a long voyage nearly halfway over, the group is narrowing in on the continent of Kodai. Their intention is to beat the royals there and find a way to power all of the gates in Theria, perhaps unlock a new fast travel system for the entire world. And that's where we pick things up today. Let's do that! Thing where we go around the table and introduce ourselves. I'm Jason, I'm the Dungeon Master. Going around the table, start with Ryan. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, and I play Varys Alder, the half elf monk. And Lisa. Hey, I'm Lisa, and I play Elrath Beastier, the halfling, a barbarian. And Bree. Hi, my name is Brianna Marie, and I play Clara Uroth Dale, the half drow fighter. And Mandy. Hi, guys. This is Mandy, and I play Iris Hawker, the human cleric. Praise Vecna. <laughs> and Jasper. Howdy, I'm Jasper. I play Merrick Ethelred, human clerlock. And last and certainly not least, Zach. What's up? My name is Zach, and I play Avalon Bates, the human fighter. Everybody out there, if you're not on their Patreon and you don't listen to behind the scenes, all I can say is you're missing out. Well, yeah, that's some. That's you're missing Maybe. something, all right. On Just wash your butt. Yeah. Please, no. <laughs> please yeah. wash For your sure. butt. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Hashtag wash your butt. No. Uh, everybody, do uh, give me a flat t twenty. See what condition your butts are in. Let's go. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, here we go. That's how we're starting. Desert things ass. Off. Okay. Wow. 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 Avalan Iris twenties. All that's right. Good so butt. booty. Elrath, yeah. you're rocking nice a butt. six. LRF Yay. got some swampy desert butt. Ah, that's oh, not going to no, do. Oh, we just got mm. off the boat. <laughs> oh, no. This is only going to get worse. She is a barbarian. I mean, like, uh, not known for her health and hygiene. Merrick. I'm not playing your butt games. You know what? I'll roll for you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. wait that was, I didn't mean to do it then. That was the wrong thing. I knew it. I knew it. Ah oh, shit! <laughs> I'm not surprised. Better. He's a werewolf, of course. <laughs> Wait, that first roll was for your werewolf butt, and then the, the <laughs> regular human right. butt. So what is okay. that? As soon as he changes, he just poops himself, and then as soon as he changes <laughs> yeah. back, he goes into the rest of it and cleans himself there- off. There are creatures that live uh, all over the uh, whether they're in the ocean or whether they're, they're mammals uh, that live on land, that when they get frightened and they have to run away from, from a predator, they evacuate themselves. And I imagine it's the opposite for his werewolf. So he turns into a werewolf and it just poops everywhere. Oh, like, ah. Guys, don't worry. It's in the artwork for the book. It's, it's yeah. there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just. So if oh, you boy. like what you just heard, which is why I went to you, uh, right. you're going to want to listen to me behind what, the scenes. Kickstarters are all about. All right. right. Let's pick things up on the continent of Kodai. I think we've put this off long enough, and uh, it's time to start exploring. Last time, you had a lovely chat with the uh, crew members. You bid them farewell. And there's something I want to ask you guys in just a few seconds. But I had you roll a flat d20 to see how your adventure on Kodai was going to start. And uh, you rolled a 15, so that is an excellent, excellent start. Now, we already got into the fact that uh, Kodai is a desert continent. It is oppressively hot. 
when you guys disembarked. It is the middle of the day. And 120 degrees Fahrenheit was the temperature we left off on. Each one of you <clears throat> are weighed down with quite a lot of stuff in your packs, uh, including three gallons of water each. Mm. That is a lot. Uh, a gallon of water, for everyone out there, weighs uh, about eight pounds, somewhere in there. So you're each rocking... Oh, oh, oh. 8.34 pounds per gallon. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, what a nerd! I... It's like... <laughs> It's nice having a water god on our. It on really cast. is nice. It's... <laughs> I was like waiting to see what you'd say. I was like, oh, oh, you're you're right. It is about eight pounds. Thank you. I, you I know, like, I'm not trying to. No, completely. You are correct. Thank you. Um, so you guys are rocking about what twenty five, twenty six pounds of <laughs> just water. That's a lot. So, the good news is you're going to blow through that pretty quickly, as each one of you. Uh, in 12 hours or so of walking, <clears throat> uh, are going to need to gulp down about two gallons or so. And uh, finding water is going to be at a premium in terms of uh, your, your, next, your next thing. Keep an eye out for water. Shall we get started? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So you're getting away from the shoreline here. And... What I need to do is kind of um, set a scene for you, because this isn't like you're on the beach. This isn't that kind of sand. This is like fluffy, powdery, blows in the wind type of sand. You're going to have to shield your eyes a lot as uh, wind kicks up off these dunes and just kind of hoses your face down with water or uh, sand. I wish it was water. Sorry. So you're going to have to keep your your footing underneath of you as you as you kind of march it's it's tough to uh, it's kind of tough to make up time here because you're weighed down with all this gear most of you are in armor of some sort <clears throat> and the sun is just beating down on you can everyone give me a perception check please hell yeah we're good yeah very nice okay so uh can i ask who's leading the charge here Who's who's going to be your Sherpa in Kodai? Mm -hmm. I would think it might be Clara because she did yeah. the most research. That's true. I think Clara should ah. lead the way. Wait, does this depend on perception? Because if if so, nah, <clears throat> nah, 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 no, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna rely on your survival. You're gonna be leading the way, making sure everybody doesn't get lost in the desert. Yeah, that's slightly better. Or or Jasper. No, this is this is a look at Merrick. Yeah, no, it's Clara. It is Clara. It's Clara. It's Clara. Uh, so, okay. Uh, no, Jasper. Da, 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 I mean, da, da, okay. before you, before you, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> before you do that, um, you guys left the ship. Uh, how long, uh, how long's the crew waiting for you guys? Like, uh, or is there ever. a, okay. Is this a, is this a thing where you guys were like, Hey, if we're not back in a week and a half or two weeks, don't die oh. here. Like Seymour the dog. And what's just, a, I mean, I mean, in terms of size of of continent, uh, if we were to get to the center, looking at some maps, I would imagine this would be like a a Varus looking at mm -hmm. maps situation where it's roughly forgetting terrain and the worst case scenarios. What should it take us to get a, to the middle of this island? Like, what would be the the halfway point uh, in terms of days? Because oh, we can boy. just work it out that way. Right. So. Uh... If you compare this to, let's say, uh, Alara, right? It's obviously a fraction of the size of Alara, but you're still dealing with miles and miles of desert. And the tricky thing about this is uh, all the <laughs> all of this surface area kind of looks the same. It's just sand and dunes, and you know, every once in a while there'll be a rock formation or uh, a dead tree, something like that, but it's tricky to find your way through. It's kind of like being stuck in the middle of a forest. <clears throat> so it should take you roughly two and a half to three days to get where you're going. Okay. And that's, you know, barring uh, anytime you get lost, it's, you know, making your weather has to kind of cooperate with you and all that stuff. But yeah, that should be about what you're looking at. Okay. So no matter what, 
they we they would know don't expect us for a week at yeah. all oh no yeah, matter yeah, what yeah, yeah, like, yeah even the best case everything goes great you got a week before you need to start paying attention at that point it's everything's cool if you haven't seen us for a week and a half and at a week and a half you got to start thinking okay should we start checking our supplies making sure we're okay like in other words start figuring out whether or not they should be taking off or not and and basically hold out as long as they can but i would say two weeks and that's all we got and remember they have lots of food and water that's what i was going to ask was how much provisions would they have for waiting yeah you guys prepared for a very long trip uh, okay and you know thanks to a certain demon pact uh, the the ship is a little bigger. It's a little more well stocked. They're fine, but it, this is one of those things where, how long do they wait before they just go? Oh, I think they're not coming back, guys. Yeah. So I, Varys would at least make the suggestion that we we take account how many days it would take to get back. Mm-hmm. We give them a couple. We add on a couple more in case you know mm-hmm. the, the ship goes awry or anything else. And let's say that's whatever, a week to get back to to wherever they need to go, I think we subtract those provisions and say, wait that long and then go. I think that makes total sense. I like it. Done. Because that's also the that's the longest we would stay here anyways. Right. So mm-hmm. that also gives us, you know, if we do want to hunker down and kind of stay there, if we get to a location where like, oh, we need to be here for a little bit to study or, or to do something, that gives us a little bit of time. But then it also... Like, we have a deadline to hit as well. Yeah, that makes total sense. Could we... Uh, I'm going to complicate this a little bit. <laughs> could we um, Could we ask them... And I think this is all going through... I imagine this is a big conversation with our captain, um, who basically needs to give these orders. But uh, instead of leaving the way we came, could they go around to the to the east and around the southern port of the island part of the island basically my point is is like if you have to leave if it's if it's at the point where you must leave go around the island just to give us one more chance to be able to make a, our way to the shore in the yeah. other direction does that make any sense like it, rather than having to backtrack if, like, if it's like they're already gone we know they're gone let's let's head west and hit the shore and maybe they'll see us does that make any sense that's a no. long trek yeah. Nah, yeah. But fuck it. Yeah, forget it. I was gonna say with all the tr- <laughs> well, all the trouble we had f- with getting the f- ship through the barrier islands. I, you know, I'm just contingency. I'm really nervous right now no, because I know, I know. Jace is gonna it's throw a us a whole idea. bunch of shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. you know, you know, just just but, uh, th- they can leave. Just leave now. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. We'll just gate back home. Yeah. How about this? How about? The 17th of Doolin. So that is... 11 days? Yeah. That's That's so short. That's a week and a half. You're three days from your destination. Uh, Would you rather say two weeks? That doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, yeah let's say at a week, week and a half, get a, get get ready and start start paying attention uh, and see if you can see any signs from us in any way. Keep keep a lookout. Have um. Augie looking out in our direction after a week and a half to make sure if any there's a flare that goes up or something. After two weeks, you're you know you're probably on your own. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that sounds absolutely fair. <clears throat> all right. So that's enough of the logistics and all that nonsense. I just had to you know it, it, think of it as you guys filling out a will that type of thing. Like I just need mm-hmm. to know. All right. all right. So fifteen. You guys rolled a 15. That's fantastic. So the weather is going to be on your side as much as it can be. And for the next several hours, you're going to be hiking. And it's a monotonous slog as the sun is, it's just radiating off the sand. You can feel heat coming from the ground as well as the sky. There is nothing to give you shade at all it is it feels like the sun is closer to you than it has ever been and you're going to hike over dunes and then kind of slide down and you're going to continue to do this over and over again Uh, clara can i get a survival check please you sure can could you do me a favor well i would be happy to 
Could you share that map again? Because I lost it. Okay. Uh, Shazam. <laughs> oh. Yay, there it is. Okay. <laughs> cool. I was trying to get rid of my arrow, and I accidentally closed out of the whole thing, and then I opened up maps, and there were a lot of maps. Anyway, survival check. Got it. All right. Can I argue advantage because of how good I know where it is? No. Let's pretend I said that right. Okay. How about, how about if I said that correctly? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say no because you've never been here, and uh, reading about something is a little different than actually hiking through it. It's, it's you know. Can't blame a girl for trying. I, it, not at all. All right. Ten. You know, my own black dice are pissing me off now. <laughs> <laughs> the old black on black. <laughs> yeah, that was really cute. And then I, you know, it depended on it. <laughs> so Yes, ten. You're going to get a little lost. Just a little bit. Could you roll a d4 for me, please? Okay. Am I, am I aiming high or low? Oh, you're aiming low. Okay, I thought so. I'm closing my eyes, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay, huh. so... For the next four hours, you're going to get lost. And it's really tough to tell. <laughs> uh, because, again, it's just the only thing you can go by are your own footprints and tracks. So you're going to see where you're kind of, you know, eventually you're going to kind of come up over a, a dune. And you're going to think you're heading in a straight line. And you're not. It's almost as if you're marching with your eyes closed. It's terrible. So... You're gonna oh, bit... she is. Did I not mention that? She's <laughs> <laughs> Clara doesn't like the sun, so she actually pulled it up over her eyes. Oh, they okay. really shouldn't be following her anymore. <laughs> Are, is, is this a thing where you would tell anybody? Oh, that she thinks that she might be lost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As soon as she realizes, she would okay. be like, "Ah, uh, okay, everyone, stop." Like, she's not big on the pride thing. Like, she's very much like, "I'll ask for help." Okay. You know. Yeah. Do you think that would be before the four hour mark, Jason? <laughs> or, that, or do you think it's like four hours and we're lost? I think, let's say that she discussed it two hours in. And okay. It took you okay. guys another two hours to get back on. You're like, okay, I think I think this is right. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So your first day. Oh, the sun rises from the east. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in theory, the sun comes up out of the ground. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, ah, fr from Kodai. It's from Kodai. Kodai. Like, yeah, you guys are standing on the sun. Where the sun? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so might as well be walking on the sun. <laughs> dar, dar, dar. Oh, it's like oh, it's summer in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> that is, you know what? That's that's how we're gonna write it when we do the Kodai book. It, it's just summer in the nineties all the time. <laughs> it's that and like Smash Mouth. That was Smash Mouth. Wait, was it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I only yeah. know Smash Mouth from their one song. What? I didn't, know. <laughs> I didn't think about their other song. Oh my god. Smash Mouth. <laughs> I know had a the song, hits. obviously. Oh. I just never associated it with Smash Mouth, who in my mind has only ever sang one song. They hate that, by the way. They, they really do. do. They do. <laughs> they really do. I think didn't they recently they recently got over it. Like they're they're playing into the meme now. But I they think... hated it for a long time. Here's the thing. Uh, listen to Fushumang. Uh, that that album is fantastic. Uh, it's silly. It's kind of ska-ish. Uh, I think was, I actually well owned Shrek. that album. It was yeah. well before Shrek. Just say. Anyway, I think that was our car album. So, I'd say a third of this day is going to be kind of wasted, but that's okay. You're 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 getting your your sand feet under. That sounded racist for some reason. You're getting your 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 land legs. So I've heard that's a thing, like transitioning back to solid ground. Yeah. So yeah, yeah you're just yeah. you're just kind of with you. You have used up two thirds of your water. What? Yep. In four hours? No, 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 no. Uh, this is gonna we're, we're the, the end of the day. So oh, okay. I was like, yeah, the sun is set, and you guys are. I'm guessing making camp. It's gonna get a bit chilly. Uh, so. Uh What's the date today? Like, not, like, sixth, tonight. The 6th the sixth sixth. of Doolin. <clears throat> I think we do have travel die, don't we? Y yes. Or did we roll it? We rolled it starting our adventure last session. Okay. Oh, I thought you had a travel die. Hold on a second. I marked down you had a travel die. Did you do something did you, to get a travel did die? Did you give us travel guy because we did such good role play last time? Mm. 
talking about our emotions Houston. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that was our Christmas one. <laughs> That's not it. Um, <laughs> no. So, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. No. Okay. It's a hard no. <clears throat> so you guys are gonna you're gonna crash for the evening, and you're you're so. One of the tough things uh, in the desert here is going to be water. You know it's somewhere, but you have a limited amount of time to find it. So we went through two gallons in a day. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's hot. It's 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 soups hot. So this is absolutely going to be something that's on Merrick's mind the whole time. That and this is PTSD constant, right? He's just like marching, but. This feels very familiar and and wrong and horrible. So if there's any thinking about water and possible oases or anything like that of any sort, he's got it on his mind. So if there's any sort of camping, he's going to be figuring that shit out or at least trying to. Hmm. You know what? Can Merrick give me a survival check? I'll do my best. Oh, Oh my. So... Merrick, while 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 everyone's setting up camp, <clears throat> Merrick is going to take a walk. Not a long walk, but he's going to hear a noise. Kind of a... That kind of thing. Kind of oh. a... Yeah, almost like a snickering or a clicking. Does he, something. Does he punch his stomach? Oh. Is inner oh. demons acting up? <clears throat> no. <laughs> no, this is... Sounds like a scorpion in my mind. Mm. So, Merrick is going to crest over this dune and he's going to see a few scorpions. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good call. Told you. Now, he's going to see them and they're hovering over this very small pool of water, like a puddle. What would Merrick like to do? He's going to go... First water you've seen, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um... How, uh, these are are scorpion scorpions, not like the like crazy dire scorpions or some like magical spirit gor- uh, scorpions or some stuff, right? Well, I should clarify. <laughs> Everything's bigger on Kodai. Great. Um, these are, if I had to give you a size, think like a smart car. <laughs> oh Jesus. So, wait a minute. No, that's a subtle thing to just leave out, Jason. <laughs> You're right. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I left that out. Um, it's just three scorpions. You know, it's okay. What? <laughs> think a smart car with a tail. Uh, uh is uh, this? Uh, how many? Well, let's see. <laughs> oh come on! Do me a favor. Roll a d6. No. Okay. Uh, I'll no, hang on. Six. Ugh. Okay. You see it? Nope. What? It was a one. I sw- oh, Well, I'll do it again. That means it, it's a I, zero. It, there it is. See, look, it actually happened. It, there it is. It's late for some reason, but it did it. I I do not see any dice rolls. I see a one. I see a one. Oh, there's I a one. I do too. Wow. Yeah, there I'm was, there was like a 15 second delay. Yeah. Oh, that's super weird. Okay. Did I say a few? <laughs> that's not what I meant. I meant oh, a but, single but, scorpion. I can imagine that his his vision and his thinking is probably he's like, is that like a pile of scorpions? Oh, no, it's just one big one. Yes, okay. just, uh, uh, I like that he went for Transformer Scorpion. Yeah, before. right. <laughs> uh, what time of day is this? This is sort of camp time. This is like the sun's yeah. setting. It's going to get chilly. Yeah, kind so of there's thing. an orange glow behind you as the, the, okay. the campfire going because it, it gets chilly in the desert. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm up for a I'm up for a long rest coming up pretty soon be able to sort of reset myself a little bit it's my 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 thinking um and he sees uh this huge ass scorpion hovering around a, a water source right yep very small water source yes very small but only water source um okay and no, is is anybody else actually there's this is the scenario Merrick's crested this dune. Everybody's setting up camp. He's like, I'm going to go check and see if I can find any water just just in case. And he's going to hit this crest of a dune. He's going to look down. He's going to see this huge ass scorpion. And he's going to look around to see if anybody's looking in his direction or like following him. 
Uh, and that's a question to the. I was about to, to say, group. yeah, I can't. Yeah. Or oh, just going off of Bears so. as passive. I think he would be paying attention at least a little bit. Like probably not staring, but if Merrick looks back at the group for a little bit, then he would probably recognize that. All right. Um, he's just going to, you know, kind of give a thumbs up. Not like, yeah, but like, like still checking kind of a thing. But if he goes down the, down that, that dune and he's out of sight, um, how, how far away would, would he be here? Would he be close enough or uh, far enough away <clears throat> from the party? No, sorry. From the scorpion. Uh, I'd say you're like 45, 50 feet from the scorpion. Okay. Um, is, the scorpion is just sort of preoccupied. I would imagine at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing scorpion shit. Yeah, scorpion reading the scorpion book or whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay, he's just gonna come straight up. Um, he's just gonna march up. He's like, okay, water. I imagine this has been a pretty rough day. Oh. Um, I mean, right for. Oh yes, yes. No, it's been, it's a shitty been day. shit. Really shitty. He's just gonna march right up uh, within about. Um, 10 feet of of this scorpion um and pr- uh, assuming that the scorpion isn't going to sort of charge him down as he's w- walking towards uh-huh. um he's going to he's going to cast uh, a spell and he's going to try to kill the damn thing get it out of the way i'm going to cast hold scorpion <laughs> hold sc- <laughs> do hold scorpion as you're rolling the dice for that i would like to mention if varus locks eyes with merrick and then Merrick kind of gives like this, all right, I, you know, type of signal. And then starts walking down the dune and he's no longer in line of sight. Varys would go take his place on the top of that dune just to remain with in line of sight with everybody. <clears throat> that makes cool. sense. I'm going to be casting uh, a spell that is from his new warlock uh, connection. Um, that's called Arms of Hadar, uh, which is uh, it, it's 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 this. He's going to basically invoke this dark demonic power um, that's basically just going to pummel the shit out of this scorpion. It's going to uh, uh, come out of him if it's if it's successful. If we can do this. It's going to be just sort of inky blackness of smoke and weird shadows and all kind of shit. It's going to come out of him, out of his body, almost like it's it's uh, just emanating from him. And it's going to take the um, the form, however, of rather than just like tendrils of an octopus or something, it's going to be like you're going to see wolf shapes and like claws and like like just teeth and gnashing of of werewolfism. Um, and I would like to do this, but I do not have it, uh, in fantasy grounds. <laughs> uh, okay. Hold on. But I can just, uh, tell you what happens if well, that's okay. I, I, mean, I can, I can give you a spell. Kind of blue balling us there. Yeah, a little bit. Well, I mean, I don't, we don't even have a, a, a initiative tracker right now anyway, do well, we? Well, I mean, you know. I can just tell you what happens. Surprise cool. round. Yeah, here. It's just... cool. Bloop. There you go. Arms of Hadar. It's in, it's in the thing. Yeah, they're good. Oh, actually, I had it. <laughs> I fucking had it. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> wow. Hey, all's well, it ends well. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do it. So what's, what's, what's that? So, what you uh, so what, what I did, so I, I'm going to invoke this. Please cut all of this out of the, the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Please, it's not worth it. It's not worth the first spell. Just please cut this out. Um, I'm going to double it. Actually, each, I'm just going uh, to fix it in post. Just fix it in post. It. It's okay. At least kind of just for I don't. Yeah, each cool. creature in this area must make a strength saving throw. Oh, okay. Um, so I've just rolled. Uh, well, yeah, there you go. So sixteen. Okay. Is that a save? I don't know how things work anymore because we haven't had combat in eight years. Well, I think that that, that I think your DC is a thirteen. Yes. And, yeah. So that means he saved. the scorpion saved. Yeah. On a yeah. failed save, a target takes two d six necrotic damage. Wait. Oh no no no. On a failed save. on a successful save, the creature takes half damage. Okay. So give me two d six, and I'll we'll do. Well, just give me one d six, I guess. Oh man. Well that sucked. That is what? not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> it happens, you know. Well, uh, you know, one. 
Ah, God, you know what? Just I mean, cut all be... of this. Out. Can we start over? <laughs> To be honest, so, I do think Zach? you still roll the normal damage, and then you have that. Right. So give me another d6. Fine. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my no! god! I tried to help you. I really nope. did. You did, you did great. Oh, you did great. Fuck, fuck. So I love he's you, Jasper. I'm sorry. All right. So no, 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 it's fine. So the 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 scenario is this. He's like, I got this, and he's gonna be like, Oh, what a fucking day! I'm just gonna take care of this shit. He's gonna walk up to this scorpion, and he's gonna go. Oh, and this is going to be this weird power that he's never really used before, but he knows he intuitively has. And it's going to have this werewolf feeling to it. And it's going to go bonk, bonk, on the side of the scorpion. Yeah, it's OK. So the scorpions could be like, what the fuck? And march on over. The... Wait, so it's also a talking scorpion. Yes. yes. No. <laughs> Um, it has a very nonchalant <laughs> attitude about life and the universe and everything. It's like, look, man, you're not the only one who's had a tough day. Uh, <laughs> shit. So I imagine everybody, you know, you're covering up, you're, but your skin has that dry, like the hot, hot air is just blasting. Your skin just kind of feels all cracky and just like, oh, man, I could use some aloe right about now. And the scorpion is going to march on up and it's covering a good deal of ground. <laughs> Because it's a big ass scorpion, and it's gonna wander on up to Merrick, and uh, it is going to uh, swing once with its claws. And ten. That's probably not gonna do anything. So it's gonna swing out with its claws, big ass, like mm-mm, mm-mm. yeah. So it just so it's either gonna like clamp down on armor, or it's gonna miss you entirely, and then it's gonna rear back with its tail. Good luck. 18. Good, good luck. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I... I don't... This is fine. This is fine. I mean, That's very okay. Fine. Yeah, no, no, it's totally cool. Totally cool. So I like gonna, it. Um, so, okay, hold on. Nine piercing damage. Can I get a constitution saving throw from you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that. Okay. Dude, it's fine. I got this. Oh, okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's a 22. You're going to save just No fine. problem. No problem. No problem. Let me uh, add you to the thing because this is not going the way i don't think this is totally fine no this is fine so no i I got i got more i got more i'm gonna this is it i got this okay um so uh where's my spells there they are (laughs) (laughs) i picture in the middle Uh, of combat like breaking out a book it's like uh, uh, hold on hold on yeah yeah oh hey he's holding his finger but wait one second one second one second um no, this is going to be fine. This is absolutely fine. I'm going to um, immediately uh, perform uh, another one of his more recent um, things. And he's going to point his finger. He's actually going to hold his finger up. He is. He's going to say, hang on a second. And he's going to point it at the scorpion. and be like, what the fuck? And he's going to whoosh. And there's going to be hellish flames that surround this, this scorpion. Um, and the scorpion is going to have to make a dex saving throw. Oh, okay. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, He's going to be so, like, not today. <laughs> okay, 19. Let me, let me put this out there into uh, the universe. Please um, do. <laughs> because Merrick was on the dune, we made eye contact. He starts walking off and breaks line of sight. Varys is walking over. If he starts hearing combat and spells break off he's gonna probably go into a little bit of a jog if he crests that dune and sees this going on he will yell for everybody in russian right. thank you in russia right. <laughs> yeah yeah russian. yep there we go it was okay. breast last episode it's russian this episode i could have th- i could have <laughs> swore he said russian i'm gonna yell in yeah. russian yeah. it's like well i don't know how that's gonna help um yeah, okay do me a favor Give wait, wait, a... wait, wait. Whoa. On a failed save, on a failed save, mm-hmm. uh, half damage. And that's, I'm doing this at um, uh, uh, a higher level. I've got 3d10. It's going to be half of that. Okay. 
So and I just did the two and a three. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, what? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 13, 14. So seven damage. Got it. Oh. Hell, hellfire damage. Cause he's pissed. <clears throat> no, I, yeah, he's tired. This is not going the way he's supposed to. It's, he's just like, well, just, just stop. That's just what I was going to ask water. for, uh, Varys as a perception roll. That's an eight. So you're not going to well, hear. He's, he's but, still walking over there, but I'm yeah. not going to hear it. So, I, yeah. So like in a round or two, you'll be there. So, okay. Okay. So this, okay. You know what? Another claw. We, 21. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Five. It's five. That's damage. fine. I can take that. No problem. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, I don't know. And another sting. Ten. That's not even going to do anything to you. No. You're fine. I'm, I'm dodging. I'm dodging. I'm like, stop yeah. it! It's a... <laughs> stop fighting that. <laughs> so, yeah. Big ass scorpion is je- kind of maybe a little clumsy. Maybe a little... Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. You ready? Uh, oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. I hit you with a claw attack. Could you do me a favor? Yeah, uh, I can do that. You are grappled. Yeah, of course I'm grappled. Uh, so technically, I should have got advantage on that. St- don't worry about that, though. That, we'll worry about that next time. Uh, yeah, so if you want right. to escape, it's a DC of 12. All right. What do you want me to do? Uh, well, if you want to get out of that claw, you're going to have to try to yeah. escape. But yeah, that's up to you. I do want to try to escape. Okay. That's your action. Okay. That's my action. I'm doing it. Okay. All right. What do you want me to do? Give me do I do a, What do I do here? Yeah, Give I can athletics. do that. Yeah. You 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 think I know what I'm doing? That's why I'm like I you you do know what you're doing. You're the most yeah, I got 18. Of all of us. 18. I got so 18. you escape. So you're gonna wriggle out of this thing, of and you're not. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. Do you want to move? Uh, 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 yeah. I want to move back. Uh, yeah. I want to move back. Uh, uh, about, it's about twenty feet. Okay. So you're gonna take an opportunity attack. No, uh, no. I'm gonna stay there. I'm okay. gonna stay there. Okay. So we're okay. So he's gonna do the same thing. And he's going to do uh, claw. And yeah, not gonna 13's work. not going to work. That's nope. not that, that, that's not going to phase you. No. Uh, so he's going to swing with a stinger. 21. That will phase you. Uh, nine damage to Merrick. Um, <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, okay. Hold on. Uh, can I get a constitution saving throw, please? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. This is that all is good. That is a crit fail. So that wait, no, I have a nine. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I miss. I <laughs> yeah, no, the, the, the saving. Yeah. So you're gonna take well, uh, 18 damage in poison. Great. Oh, no problem. It's just once, so it doesn't matter. I'm kidding. If you die, <laughs> I'm not gonna die to one lone scorpion. <laughs> And your last words to the party were, I'm going to go check out some water, guys. I'll be right back. You just fucking get murked by a sco- one scorpion. Not dying. One more round and you get to jump in, Varys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that right, Ryan thought right. he was going to be the one. <laughs> okay. Okay. No more playing around. You got this. Yeah. No, this is, I'm done. I'm done. You're done. I'm done. At this point, Mer- so uh, I'm I'm not trying to make all of this light and, and and just ridiculous. This is like the end of a long ass day. Yeah, Merrick is very. He's just like, give me some water. I'm not doing this again. He sees the scorpion. He's just like, get out of my way. The scorpion keeps trying to attack him. He's like, ah, what the fuck? And so he is going to no shit cast fireball at the fucking scorpion. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, Feller. Yeah. Now, let's think about this one. Uh, you are you are restrained. Basically, no, he escaped. No, 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 no. You no, no. escaped. He oh, escaped. okay. He escaped. Last round. Okay. Okay, so you're casting fireball. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I agree. Look at you're like ah, maybe nuke it, baby. I, I'm going to back up. I'm not grappled. I got stung. I'm like, God damn! Oh, this is right. He's gonna just gonna run backwards in the sand, like, okay, you know, like back up. That's an opportunity attack. No, I no, no, but it's it is. You're right. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. I keep forget. I haven't I haven't done anything next to a creature in like three years. I know. Uh, so if I cast fireball, am I gonna get hurt? I mean, it depends on where you throw it. 
Well, that's the thing. I how are you I'm right next to the damn thing? Okay, oh, look, God. you can choose the position. So you can nuke the scorpion and everything behind it if you want. Like, if you don't want to get... Like, I assume you're not going to just lob the fireball directly above you. No, I'm going to focus on the scorpion. It's going to be an f- explosion of flame Okay, I- in the scorpion's brain. <laughs> um Okay, that's that's a twenty foot radius. That's a big. You're nuking the area, ah, but not the water. Water doesn't die from flame. You're, okay, God dang it. Uh, you know what? Forget it. Forget okay, it. Forget so it. Not I'm, fireball. I'm, no. Okay, I'm burning hands. Burning, burning hands, hands is okay. different. Yes, burning hands. I'm I I, I a, a thin sheet of flames. I'm going to go light on this one. Okay. Um, but this creature has to make a dex saving throw. From my outstretched fingertips with flame, just okay. just a flamethrower straight at this scorpion. The odds of this scorpion getting this saving roll. And what's the DC? A 13? Uh, yeah, 13. Okay. The odds of this happening are slim. So this will probably be it. 11. There you go. Boom. Right. You hit right. Nice. You hit them. All right. All right. So, uh, uh, so I got this. I got uh, 3d6. Yeah. Fire damage. All right. Fucking nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. One more time for the scorpion, and then Varus is cresting over that hill. Okay. You know, a little claw? Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, freesh. <laughs> what has uh, happened? I said, Wait, oh, okay. I... Uh, before, we, before we begin with this... <laughs> Well, quick aside, really late, where are we? Where's, 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 where's the rest of the party? Okay, it is late. My fault. My bad. That's no, I'm just saying it's really late to step in now with where are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it is. It is. Okay. I mean, so wait. Okay. My – I did not envision this, but okay. So you guys are like if you're kind of like in a valley basically in between some dunes. You're, you're, you're guarded from hey. like no? – Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm totally just in my head. Go ahead. Keep going. Sorry. I imagine you guys are a bit shielded from the sound around you and stuff like that, so you can get some rest. So you got this little... So Ferris sees Merrick crest over, and it's probably like 100 feet away, somewhere in there. So it's far enough away that this stuff isn't being like broadcast. But I, I it, it also wasn't, hey, guys, I'm going to go blah, blah. It was just a little eye contact nod thing to Varys. Varys is heading over, not at a speedy pace, so I don't think that would tell the group, holy shit, there's a big problem. It would just be like, eh, you know, hey, d- d- let's keep an eye on each other right. just I, in case. I feel like us back in the camp, we'd be like kind of, or not camp, but like wherever we're chilling, we'd be not suspecting i don't know how everyone else would feel that didn't go well okay imagine <clears throat> let's see imagine you're camping and someone says yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go see if there's like a stream or something like that and they kind of like wander off a bit you see somebody it's like they're keeping an eye on them basically like it's like hey we're not letting them get out of eye shot but like yeah, it, it the, the entire thing felt so casual before all this clusterfuckery happened. So so they went kind of far because of that. A little bit, right. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, listen, I'm going to jump in here real quick. I do have uh, something called warding flare, which means that it's, it's a reaction. So as soon as I'm attacked by a creature that is able to be blinded, um, I can use my reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Mm. After the attack is rolled? Yes, a reaction. Mm. Okay. Well, then. Another so, so, disadvantage. So, we're going to roll and take the lower one. Yep. Three. We'll take the three. Fine. So, he is going to try Sorry. and swing. No, that's okay. He is going to try and swing with the old stinger. That's going to miss. And at that point, Varys is going to crest over the... Uh, the the dune here and see what's going on. Just see this epic fist fight with a scorpion. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, <clears throat> he real quickly look back at the party, scream for them, and then just charge down the hill. Okay, so let's say you close the gap relatively quickly. So you're going to use up. I get. Do I need to get a map? Uh, y- you know, let's do it. Yeah, probably. Let's let's, let's just. Play it safe. Let's do it. 
So the, the whole scorpion fight's been a little confusing. <laughs> yes. Has it? Tiny, <laughs> tiny bit. Just, like, the tiniest bit. Like, 10% more confusion than usual. Because, like... It's been within five feet of each other and just yeah. kind of, like, bap, bapping each other on the face. Like, bam, I mean, bam, the not bam. being able to select the creature, so you guys have to keep checking back and forth whether or not it hits and how things work. That's just D&D. That's okay. All right, here we go. I'll just bring that. I did not anticipate this. Yeah, well, hey. Sorry. Hey, that's D&D, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Okay. I I really appreciate it, to be honest. I got a great laugh. Um... (laughs) Got to cry out, you know. It was it's very, it was it's very interesting. See what happens next, and it is, as I heard, D and D. It is D and D. So yes. here's okay, Varus. You can use yes. double movement and get up next to this scorpion, or you can try to fire from range. However, you want to do it. So I have forty five speed. Okay, yeah. So if you crested over this dune, yeah, you could either close the gap. With both actions, or you can just like that. Okay, then if I can just go that far, he would only throw a dart. Okay, as like a warning punch. I mean, I could throw my grenade, but oh, um, yeah, no, I'm not. Grenade. Not. Mm, well, I mean, why hold back? It's armored. It's got natural arm. It's got an exoskeleton. It's also got a Merrick right next to it. Ah, tomato, tomato. <laughs> 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 I don't want that to be the way that he dies from friendly fire from the Merrick's first I'm grenade. here to help Merrick. Kaboom. <laughs> Merrick says, throw me the grenade. <laughs> Planning on just shoving it I've in its mouth. This. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So let's see if this dart hits. A 21 will hit. Totally. Alrighty. Yeah. And then. Wah-ha. Four damage to the scorpion. All right. All right. A little warning shot as I'm running in. It's like, hey, what the fuck, man? Stop it. <laughs> uh, Merrick. It says round one. It's not. No. Look at that. Hold on. Right. This is round six. <laughs> how, long, how many hours have we been doing this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going to... Uh, uh, give me one second. I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to cast a uh, scorching ray. Okay, eighteen. That'll hit. Right. I like how you've abandoned saves. Like fuck yeah. That. No no no. Mm-mm. Ten Mm-mm. damage. Okay. All right. Enough. All sorry. Right. He's gonna look at Varys. Uh, sorry. <laughs> He's just going to give you, like, a what the fuck look. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Claw. Seventeen's going to miss. Okay. 23 is going to hit. I'm going to use my warning, uh, warning flare again to do a disadvantage uh, reaction. Sorry, man. <laughs> 18 is going to hit. Well, okay. <laughs> Uh, it sounds like someone pissed in your cereal every time you use cereal. <laughs> it sounds suspect where it's like after the roll I'm gonna choose to t- huh, okay. Uh give me constitution save. I mean, why would you do it before a roll? Well it's like I feel like this one's gonna hit. Here's the thing. Of the reactions, that feels like like you know what I mean? Like you're just it's it, it feels like you're undoing time or something. It's weird. Um well, Merrick does that. <laughs> It's my thing. True. <laughs> uh, so, 15 damage is going to knock Merrick out. What? Oh my gosh. Varys! <laughs> I, just imagine, I just imagine, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> hey, oh, wow. Let me ask everybody back at the camp. Uh, did Okay, you heard Varys. Is everyone kind of getting up from their seat and running? Or... Oh, I can describe the scene for you. Uh, we're all back, baking beans. You hear something, <laughs> a, a scream in the background. Uh, I think they're just I think they're just meditating again. Let them have it. <laughs> That's advanced yoga. I've heard of this. It's called best hot yoga. <laughs> Clara's making s'mores. Like, surely, if something went wrong. <clears throat> 
Merrick would have called for us. So <laughs> at least very screamed for help. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, no, I yeah, imagine com- everyone's coming. Okay, yeah, oh, we're yes. coming absolutely. All right, so uh, another round or so, they're going to be here. Oh uh, well, this is going to be great. All right, well now you're now I need to range, just though you can racked. get in there. Yeah, but, so here's the thing. Uh-huh. Now, with him being down, I got to distract him. So I distract him with range and pull him away from Merrick. Or do I just get in there, which is really my only combat option? Mm. Well, I mean, is a scorpion the type of uh, animal that's going to just eat? Because here's the thing. That scorpion was minding its own business. Oh, yeah, no. Merrick <laughs> definitely started this fight. He he poked the scorpion. That... <laughs> This was all Merrick's fault. We're going to have a big talking after all of this. Um, the you know poison what? All right. courses through his <laughs> body. <laughs> so, all right. I'll put it down Mr. to this way. Varys was sprinting down. I don't mm-hmm. think he would break mid-sprint to stop. I think he was going to keep going along his track. Okay. Uh, so he is going to go around to get his attention on the other side. And then what I was originally hoping to get is advantage, but that's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> uh, a lot of a lot of punches. Okay, punches and bunches. Let's go. Yeah. So he's going to throw a, a a lot of furious punches as I'm looking at everything here. So first attack is going to be fury of blows. So there is going to be, let's see, a total of three punches. On the first action. Let me... If I can find my punch. There we go. Hey, 25 will hit. All right. So <clears throat> let's do damage. Six. Nice. All right. So the second... 25 will hit. Seven. All right. And the third... 23 will hit. Six more damage to the scorpion. That's a lot of scorpion damage. All right. Now, also, I don't know if this matters at all, but all of these punches are considered magical damage. Um, Just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah, there's nothing like that. Look, I'm going to level with you. There was nothing magical about this fight. Okay. Yeah. I mean, no, it it was magical in its own way. (laughs) Um, (laughs) That's for sure. Can we make a t-shirt that says, don't poke the scorpion? (laughs) <laughs> oh yes, please. And it's just like a scorpion at like a water trough. It's <laughs> so business. a scorpion at a water trough with Merrick's mace holding up above it. <laughs> um so second attack action, it's gonna be the same thing. He's just gonna keep throwing these punches. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of punches. Jesus. Okay. Let's yep. do it. Uh seventeen will hit. Alrighty. Eight. All right, second okay. punch. 23. That'll hit. That will kill the scorpion. So, oh. in one <laughs> round of combat, <laughs> you punch the scorpion to death <laughs> with my fist. I lo- okay, wait, no, the full picture. Merrick happens oh. upon a scorpion who wasn't bothering him at all, <clears throat> threw fire at him, threw fire at him again, threw fire at him a third time, passed out because he got hit so much by the scorpion. Then Varys came up and slapped it twice, and it's he dead. punched it several times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, I punched it what five times. Okay, five times. And I did. Funnier, I do. Ha- I do have those little claws on. But Sweet. I ran in. He came up and did, did those a- anime punches on it. I know. Just- exactly. Merrick, look out! <laughs> <laughs> There's just something so funny about the fact that like fire, 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 fire. Nothing. Punch. Demon man. arms stretching Punch. out. No, none of that. What, what's, what contract do I sign to get that? Those hands. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my best rolls yet, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. No, this okay. is great. This Wait is a minute, guys. This, <laughs> this isn't <laughs> even the episode. This is like the this is like the stuff we were supposed to walk by. <laughs> this is Ferris' <laughs> first <laughs> official combat. He yeah. survived, and it was yeah. by himself. Good job. You know what I'm really proud of you. I'm I broke happy. the streak, well, I mean, guys. The assist, I broke it. I mean, you know. <laughs> Can we give the guy who hires interns a race? Jeez. <laughs> so anyway, five more scorpions are good. No. Um, oh. no. <laughs> so, okay. Varys is going to be standing over the body of this dead scorpion. So you guys got dinner tonight. Now, 
Nice. On top uh, of that. Deli- uh, Clara's going to be so happy. Oh, yeah. That's if you want to make friends. <sighs> Bring a big old bug to back to it's an arachnid, I know. Don't fucking write me emails. Um <laughs> So there is going to be the smallest pool of water. It's it's basically in a little sand bowl. Could you do me a favor? Roll a D4 for me. We have made it there for sure, right? Oh yeah, you guys I will just, be cresting I... over the hill now to see this big dead scorpion. And like Varys standing with like probably like green goo on his fists as he has punched mm-hmm. a hole clean through the exoskeleton of the scorpion, and then an unconscious Varys who is turning green, probably. There is You know what? Oh, oh sorry. I was just gonna unconscious say Varys. Uh, sorry, oh. uh Merrick. Merrick. Sorry. There's gonna be three gallons of water in this little nice. this little sand hole. Okay. Okay. It was worth it. Uh, well, for the record, I, I know it's probably different in uh, in Theria, but scorpions are pretty baller and they have blue blood. So. Oh, that's cool. So, okay, yeah. fine. Blue blood. Cool. I, uh, you know, for the imagery. Yeah. No, I, I, I know dick about scorpions, except for apparently uh, they're very strong against fire. Yes. Um, I knew, like, I'm I thought laughing. I'd heard that thing about the blue before, but I, I had to double check because I didn't want to be wrong. Jasper, Merrick's how sleeping. you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Merrick's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like... Take a little nappy nap. Yeah. I feel like we get to the top of this, like, the, the crest of this dune, and I, I want to make... I kind of want to make that joke about the camp thing real because I just want... Us to get there and Avalyn's like, see, I told you they were meditating. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're starting to crest over the hill, though, and like make that comment, Varys is going to go over, pick up <laughs> Merrick from like behind where he's pretty much holding up his, like his arms and his head where he's off the ground, but dragging his boots. And he's just going to start dragging him back to the campsite. Picture a nice thick sand line as it yeah. crests over. The- yes. <laughs> oh, well, that was silly. Um, uh, I'm sorry, everybody. No, that was I, not that was okay. Hilarious. It was not amazing, what we, sweetie. You know, we need a different. Let's start over. Let's just start <laughs> Here's the thing. over. This is the kind of stuff that, like, I like it when you guys are out and about in the world because you do stuff that I wasn't anticipating. Did I anticipate an hour long scorpion fight? Nope, okay. I didn't. Okay. Okay. But okay. Yes. I appreciate no, you're right. you. You're right, you're right. Okay. Remember <laughs> when you were like, hey, don't do that roleplay shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, you sure wanted. That's not what I said. I think that's what you that said. You, that's not what I said. Something about some goofy feeling bullshit. Yeah. I said, 2016 <laughs> was a great time to start, but it's 2020 now, and maybe... We get off the ship and like move around. And we still and, got like, feelings to work. We through. did. <laughs> I came so in. I killed the scorpion and I left. What I'm saying is, everyone back on the ship. Um, Yay! Because... <laughs> so many things oh, to hash out with you guys. Can Kumbaya, we have a meeting and then I pull Salu aside? Could we? <laughs> everyone to the captain's quarters. How's about it's safe there? Yeah, I mean, also being completely those... fair. You know how stressful my life has been over like the last seven weeks. That was <laughs> okay. exactly what I needed. Well, then, then, I'm, <laughs> then it was worth it, one hundred percent. So I'm, I'm happy. I feel like every time, like, okay, you and I sat down a few minutes before this episode, and you, 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 it's like, oh, I picture this, this, and this. Every time you have a cool idea or something you want to show off, the dice say, uh-huh. "Fuck you!" <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> way. It's true. It ha- it's happened a few times. They couldn't. They couldn't have fought you more. No, <laughs> like what you're no, trying okay. to do. I, I see this. I, I really see these types of roles truly as, uh, just more about the narrative of of the of the situation. Like it keeps making it very clear to me. It's like Merrick's tired. He's sweating. He stinks, and he's like, I fucking hate the desert, right? And he's just like. There's maybe some water down there. That could probably help us out a little. Fucking scorpion. You know what? God dick. Come on. Come on. <laughs> like, like just getting angrier and just more tired and just not getting it right and then just passing out. I, I, it makes complete sense to me. Dude, that uh, that poison is no joke. It's uh, What are the ramifications here on this poison? It's just 
Oh, you're a scorpion wolf now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you're a wolf with a an exoskeleton. That's the, yeah. No, no. Um, it's just it. It's just poison. Like it's okay. like you're just, not just d- disadvantage stuff. Not a not no, like it's not, it's, it's not recurring. You, okay. you, I assume you're gonna rest of the night unless you want to go exploring again. Hell no! I'm gonna maybe okay. cook some dinner if somebody can wake me up, and if not, I'll yeah. I'll. Uh, We'll figure it out later. So I imagine you feel bad. Like you feel shitty. Like they're that so okay. If Groggy talking, for sure. Yes. Like a hangover. So of the damage done to you, three quarters of it was fucking poison coursing through your blood. <laughs> so I that's, you were gonna say yeah. three quarters of it is to your pride. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. I I I have this image. As soon as we start back up, um <laughs> I have exactly how Merrick's going to be waking up. <laughs> I think it's only fair that You're Ryan tells you it. how you wake up. Yeah, it's like, fine. Yeah, it makes well, sense. Well, it's going to be in the position that you're in and like what you see when you first open up your okay. eyes. Okay. Hot. All right. Love it. <laughs> so we got Merrick out of that nasty situation. Um, and I would say probably, I don't know, like an hour later, something like that, he'd be. Like he'd be healed before then. Obviously, we got we got Iris, but um, I I feel like that poison is just going to be probably give him a nasty headache. Just oh, yeah, bad like nauseated hangover. Yeah, just feel terrible, right? Yeah, Mm -hmm. because we talked about it in the break, and that was like three quarters of damage. It's just like every (laughs) once in a while, that stinger would just like and just fill you up with poison. Oh God. Oh. Oh man! <sighs> so uh, you guys got a nice meal, <laughs> and yeah, uh, so you got three gallons of water. Is, is there any way we could wring out a little bit more water if I were to do control water? Just okay. Deeper in there is a little bit more moist. Draw it out. <laughs> also, I, I just need to throw it out there because you will get emails. Uh, it was venom, not poison. Jesus Christ! You know what it was. It was uh, liquefied Sour Patch Kids. That's what oh, it was. Wow. Mm, that's oh, delicious. Cool. Delicious. I've had, I've had yeah. a nauseated hangover for that. I've actually yeah. had. Um, and and my veins. Most, most scorpions in Theria inject cheese skirts into oh. your bloodstream, directly into the bloodstream. Ooh, oh, wonder yeah. so oh, deadly. Yes. So yeah. delicious. Yeah. Uh, it's just a little bit of the deadliest cheddar. animals in, in the world, basically. <laughs> Uh, so if so, we capture a couple of them, we can make a cheese farm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You can open up a successful franchise in California. It'll be great. So you easy guys, way to kill people. You got, you got you got some scorpion. You I'll give you. <clears throat> you know what? Iris, do me a favor. Give me a survival check. Survival check. All a right. Survival check. That's not what I'm good at. Okay, now here we go. Oh, wisdom. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> You're not good at that. You're right. You are, mm. Yeah, that is a crit one. You, uh... I drop water. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> you're fine. You are going to get the three gallons, but it's get, you're like I was I was seeing if you uh, you kind of noticed something about this. You didn't. So don't worry about uh, it. <laughs> don't worry All about right. it. But you All got right. three gallons go of water. Wrong? <clears throat> Which is Wait, can I check and see if I notice something? <laughs> okay, look, we're not doing this for nah, the entire part. Just, nah, uh, just kidding. So, uh, the good news is, you now have, um, well, half the party has exactly enough water to get through the next day, and the other half has half of the amount of water they're going to need for the next day. So, yay! But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say that this scorpion is really succulent and you're going to get some moisture out of it. So, uh, you know what? Let's just each give you two gallons of water in total. I'm going to be really nice and basically give you an extra three gallons of water. Thank you. No problem. I figure you've earned at least that. (laughs) A day of life. (laughs) A single day of survival. So you guys are going to rest up. Is there anything anybody wants to do before I'd we... like to wander away and then pick a fight with a scorpion. <laughs> okay, sweet. All right. All right. So, real quick. Yeah. One of the things as, you know, we bring Merrick back, we we lay him down. 
there's sand everywhere. Varys is going to do the nice thing as far as just lay Merrick's head on Varys's lap. He's going to do the nice thing, make sure, you know, his it's his hair and everything's not going to be full of sand and possibly getting into his mouth and everything. But that is as soon as he starts to wake up, all he's going to do is just kind of bop him on the forehead and then get up and go away <laughs> and like let his head fall. <laughs> exactly. When you mean bop him on the forehead is it like a gentle thing or you give him like a flurry of punches or like what do you <laughs> jesus well, i assumed it was a gentle kiss <laughs> so, you, so you're gonna yes. roll damage yeah 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 i mean it's gonna be eight punches um <laughs> no it's it's just gonna be like one finger of a, almost like like wagging no but like <clears throat> down and just kind of let it pop him in the forehead like Aww. you're disciplining a sheep. exactly yeah. okay yeah. okay <laughs> Oh my god, Merrick is kind of the sheeb of humans. <laughs> <laughs> like a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well trained but stubborn and fucking very <laughs> stubborn and sturdy and like keeps all of his secrets like a sheep. <laughs> really interested in food. Yeah, no. Merrick is makes packs aware. with demons. Holy yeah. shit, is it too late to make him aware sheep? <laughs> <laughs> so this does mean that uh Varys and Merrick are in uh initiative tracker, right? Because yes. we're going down. No. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. I'm Get him with the spell. Oh, yeah, bring it okay. on. Yeah. Okay. fire at him. Oh, yeah, right. I would. <laughs> like, I've got you. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I think I could take you. Yeah, I'm sure you can. You can absolutely. At least right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Piss him off first. See what happens. So, okay. Nope. I okay. hate to be this guy. Do it. Yeah. I knew this was coming. Could I, could I get you to do me a favor and give me three D4s? Huh? Who? Merrick. Oh my god. No. I can give you some papers. Maybe maybe Avalon gets pissed off. Can you kick some sand or something? Nine. Okay. Now the good news is you guys are going to sleep for the night, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Could you do me a favor? Uh give me a con save. Uh, just before I do this, I also want to make sure Merrick has been you know, he's he comes to it, it gets popped in the head. He's he's acting pretty sheepish. He's just he, when he he's making eye contact with people, it's kind of like he's rolling his eyes, like yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. So he's he's trying. He's not saying anything, but he's at least acknowledging his bullshit. Right. It's okay, ten. ten. All right, okay. Okay. All right. Sweet. Okay. So. Uh, yes. Okay. Sweet. So we're gonna wake up the next day. Uh, the sun is gonna wake you up the next day. And I would imagine in your campsite, you probably got like a little, um, like you probably arranged your blankets on sticks or something like that to give you a little bit of shade, something. <clears throat> oh, yeah, full rest. Let's give everybody a full rest. Some of you need it. <laughs> Why would I need it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. I need those key slots back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Clara. I need two rolls from you. No, you know what? Let's spread this around. Mandy. Can I, get a, can I get a flat D20 from you? Okay. I was being so quiet, too. I know. That's how I spotted you. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, six single digits. <laughs> Let's do Fuck. it. Clara. It's your job to lead these people through the desert. You are their Moses. Please give me a survival check. Okay. Ah, oh. eight. Love it. This might take you guys a little longer than three days to get there. I'm going to level with you. Mm. This, uh, this might be tricky. I'm sure it'll be fine. You see that Merrick goes and looks for water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have your exit buddy? <laughs> <laughs> your accountability me, buddy. <laughs> I am going. So you've been in the desert now for two full days. I'm going to give everybody a chance to learn something. Can I get all of you to roll a survival check, please? Oh, my God, please. Oh, come oh. on. Holy yes. shit, Iris! Thank you, <laughs> the Avalanche. Oh, and Avalanche. oh nice. God. this is this is the third dice in a row. Iris and I have rolled like the same number in like the second twenty in a row. <laughs> yeah, we're on it. 
You guys are you guys are paying attention. So uh, there's very little plant life in the desert, uh, in this desert specifically. But you're going to notice this brown, uh, flat, almost ivy. And uh, the only time you're really going to notice it is when the sand blows away and exposes some of it. <clears throat> and uh, out of curiosity. Iris and Avalanche are eventually going to investigate this because every once in a while you'll snag your foot on it or something like that, like after three, four hours of walking. And um, you're going to trace it back into the sand. And you're going to dig around and pull up, and you're going to find water. So. Buried underneath? Buried underneath. And every time Absolutely. you find one of these... You're going to find 1d4 gallons of water. Damn. So here's what we're going to do for the day. Let's say you figure this out early on. Okay? Now, I want you to do me a favor. Give me a d6. That's how many plants you're going to find today. Ooh. Uh, Iris had the higher roll. So let's go with... Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Your survival's a little higher, so let's let's go with the uh, flat D six. Flat D six. You're aiming high. Fuck oh. my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's a one. So give me a one D four, please. Uh, hi hi hi. <sighs> Two gallons of water. So. You have a choice to make. Either you can just kind of ration that out a little bit, which isn't really going to do anything for anybody, or one of you gets to have the allotted amount of water for tomorrow. Totally up to you. But uh, there's a new problem. Let me, let me... Da -na 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 -na. Ah, shit. Uh. <laughs> oh, damn it. So Why? I, I don't know what's up tonight. Uh, I just had to roll a d20 to see something, and I rolled a crit. Dun, 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 dun. Could I get all of you to make a dexterity saving throw, please? Oh, uh, yep. shoot. Is it an attack? Yes. Does it like have to be dex? I was going to make a joke about this. Thing? Yes. A check for saving make a does it matter? Whoa. Right. I'm about to get eaten by a blue dragon. You guys have fun. Me too. I got a minus two guy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Would, you say... Would you say that this is like an effect that originates? No. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. No. If it was, I get an advantage. Okay. Sorry. Dexterity save. Right. Yeah. No, don't yeah. be sorry. <sighs> <laughs> well, this isn't going to affect Varys, don't worry. <laughs> okay, fun. Well, shit. Okay, um... Should we call out everything for, for the, the people at home? Yeah, Who got please, what? please go, please. So, Merritt got a 19. Yeah, sure Clara did. got a 7. Varys got a 25. Avalan got an 8. Or sorry, an 18. Um, uh, Iris got a 1. Elrath got a 3. We're fucked. So um, we're split. Half and half at least. You will have an exit, buddy. You will have an exit. <laughs> Final exit. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let me get you guys a map. Oh, goody. I love you. I love you all. I uh, love you too. I, I can literally imagine what is going to happen because we joked about it before. Oh, yeah. Can I think I have a die? great idea. Uh, no, like, eh. what might I think happen? any idea would be good. Oh, I thought you meant an idea to combat this. No, no, I just know what's going to happen. I, I, I just oh. know we're going to get fucked. I just know how we're going to get fucked. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do about it. I just know how it's going to happen. And the dirty butts. No! Mm -hmm. The threes. <laughs> right in the threes. Um, if we're lucky, this is that scorpion's parents. 
<laughs> I don't know. A little justice. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to kill karma. them too. They didn't start a fight. Okay. Well, holy God. So here's what we're going to do, everybody. I'm going to share a map with you. Iris. Yeah. Iris rolled a one. Now, could you please oh, repeat? Move, you, move you, Merrick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, you wanted to prep a spell, you said? Two spells? Yeah. Uh, for my, for my um, what do you call it, the cleric thingy? The um, school of magic. Okay. I, I want blight and death ward. Death ward is important. Okay. So this is like uh, last night after the scorpion debacle. You prep these. Yeah, or it's I get it for free. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, that's fine too. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Let's get it's... rid of this arms of Hadar. That did a lot. Uh, let's uh, blight and death ward. You said. Yeah. Yes, please. I want death ward. Now, I, might, yeah. What's Death Ward do, Mandy? It makes it so that if you oh, when you cast it, which I haven't yet, but if you drop below zero, you pop up, back up to one because you don't die. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Um, let's. I'm let's, in Andy. Yeah. Is that like a reaction or? No, it's just you have to cast it. It's um like a buff. So. Oh, so you. Oh, okay. So it's not on yet, but. Okay. Okay. If so I don't die here. That's yeah. what's going on me. So you guys are going to be walking along, and uh, I picture the scene from Starship Troopers, where that giant fire beetle just kind of like comes out from the ground, but this is a adult blue dragon. And uh, Mandy's going to be lagging behind the party just a little bit. And you're all going to feel the ground vibrate at the same time. As the sand parts underneath of (laughs) Iris's feet. And this gargantuan blue dragon is going to pop up out of the sand. And it is essentially... uh, It can feel vibrations above it, and it can hold its breath for hours. So essentially what it does is it waits for prey, like like certain spiders, can feel vibrations in webbing. And it is going to clamp down and try to electrocute Iris. So you you definitely failed that dex, so it's going to use its lightning breath. Oh, shit. Are you ready? No. Yes. I wish wish you all the luck. Here we go. Oh my god. That was a fuck ton of dice. 71 damage. What? I might be. I think I'm dead. Oh my god. I. That's half your hit points. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Holy shit. Yep. Hmm. So yeah, because sixty-one would outright kill Iris. Yep. What? Sixty-two rounding up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna hear what? Okay. I know this oh is fresh. God. What would Iris say? Or di- I, I know it's not like gather round, children, but like <laughs> what? Would it be a scream? Would it be like a, like, as soon as you realize the sand is moving below your feet and this dragon is going to, like, something, like, you're going to see teeth, probably the last thing, and then into the sky, this 90-foot cone of lightning is just going to spark and shoot, and Iris is going to be no more. What? Everyone do me a favor and roll initiative. Oh. Man. Oh. I am so sorry, Mandy. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, of course it's like the, the combat that counts. 
that I die in the first half. This is this is a a session of whirlwind right here. This, yeah. What 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 did some fucking idiot say at the beginning of this session? I am so sorry. I I I I'm an idiot. Um, Varys, can you kill this with a turn? <laughs> <laughs> um. I I think he would run. I I, I don't cover anywhere nearby. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's roll for that. Do me a favor, give me a flat T twenty. Me? Yeah. Fuck. It's just a flat T twenty. And I have not rolled a good roll today. Here I go. Fine. You'll do fine. You got this. <laughs> or not. <laughs> two. I'm two. There's, there's no cover. We're in a wide okay. open plane. Um, the uh, Another question, Jason, yes. is on this map, what direction are we going? You like, are going... To get to our destination, are we going south, north? West. So you were going, okay. you were all walking that way, and I picture Iris was lagging a little bit behind, and by the time the dragon sprung into action, it was just Iris that caught it. Okay. So... Jeez. And we saw Iris just get, like, evaporated with all of this. If you want me to paint you a picture... Iris would essentially have been cooked before being swallowed. Jeez. So it's it's so it's one of those things that it's concrete. We know you there's know no beyond a shadow back. of a doubt. Varys would run. Full movement, double he would sprint as as go as fast as he can to get away. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Then that would be the blue dragon's turn. Oh, oh, I didn't realize the dragon was next. I didn't even bring up the combat tracker. Oh, well, that's important. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. It is going. What do you do? You do a lot. Holy shit. Okay. It is going to stomp forward. It is going to climb the rest of the way out of the sand. And stomp forward. And just loom over Elrath. The. And it is going to holy shit! It is going to make two claw attacks. Uh. One. It has a plus twelve. Oh, plus twelve. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, run, please, everybody. <clears throat> Fifteen damage to Elrath. Second claw attack, 28. 14 damage to Elrath. Ow. Oh, Elrath, your turn. Uh. Okay. Yeah, that pissed her off. <laughs> For a number of reasons. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, Why would, are you sorry? Well, I, I heard like the God, please don't fight it. No, I think <laughs> okay. we're all just in a state of like, holy shit, this table is not cooperating tonight. Okay. Okay. All right, so she's gonna enter her rage. Um, because like her friend just got. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Mandy. Her friend just died, and this thing just hit her. So she's going to be raging, and she's going to swing at it with her enforcer. Um, Let's see. I want to make sure. Okay. Oh, it. wait. What oh. kind of damage would you say that was for the claws? Uh, pier slashing, probably? Hold on a second. Let me make sure. Uh, Slashing. Yeah, slashing. Okay. All right, Head, uh, going forward now that she's raging, I have a resistance. Good, good. Just some yes. damage. Yeah. Um, that one, since she wasn't probably in her rage yet. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here we go. 
Uh, regular attack. I guess I don't have advantage. It's right. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 16 will miss. Okay, but uh, because I am above 5th level, I get an extra attack now. Nice. So she's going to try it again, maybe on the backswing. Nope. Oh Still fails. 12's going to miss. Okay. That's her turn. Clara. So, Varys took off running. Mm-hmm. Varys is way faster than everybody else in this party. Did your audio just mess up for anyone else, or was that just me? It was fine on my end. Fine on my end, too. Oh, okay. I just found it out. It was my headphone jack. Um, it twisted out. So, Varys is way faster than anybody else in the party. <clears throat> and he took off running. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Elrath stayed to fight. I guess Clara's got a decision to make. Yeah. Here's my problem. Mm-hmm. I'm a fighter with a sickle and a sword. Yes. I don't have anything ranged that I can really get him with. Right. So my instinct is telling me I should run. And I feel like that would be Clara's instinct, too. But Elrath is her best friend. Does Elrath look like she's going to run? Or does she look like she's going to try to take out this dragon? Well, she took two uh, swings. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's standing her ground. <laughs> Fuck. So picture... Sorry. Yeah, she's, she's raging. She is not thinking clearly right now. Yeah. How tall is Elrath again? Four foot something? Hang on. Uh, three foot eight. She's okay. Tiny. She's small. This dragon is significantly larger than three foot eight. <laughs> you could just have ducked and it probably would have forgotten you were there. <laughs> Hide in the sand. It won't yeah, I was going to say, she's going to burrow in the sand. Just <laughs> <laughs> All right, just here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> just her- There's no willpower in D&D anymore, which is dumb. Uh, Hmm? Charisma. Charisma? All right, well, that's a zero, so that doesn't affect anything. <laughs> I'm going to roll a flat d20. Okay. And I'm saying this out loud so I don't puss out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I appreciate that. If it's 11 or higher, I'm going to approach the dragon and fight with Alarath. If it's 10 or lower, I'm going to run. Okay. Closing my eyes, even though I can't see what it says anyway. 17. Fuck. <laughs> Hi, Elrath. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Half friend. Dick. <laughs> Let's die together. So, you are squaring up next to Elrath, and you are advancing towards this dragon. I never made her a lesbian. It was my fault. I did that. <laughs> Wait, you're fine. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Lesbians always die, didn't you know? Oh, oh! I was oh. like, "That's a." Is that's there a something kill- that Mar- or that Clara wants to say to Elrath? <laughs> <Yeah. Like, laughs> no, it's a, uh, it's a trope. It's dumb. Oh, uh-huh. No, it was just, I get it, it now. I was like, joke. "Oh, yeah. okay." The kill your gaze trope. It's, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I guess I'll attack or whatever. That'd be a good thing to do. All right, we'll go with. Uh, I got two short swords here. I'm assuming I'm using the one that's a plus one. Use the highest, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have a short sword and I have a sickle. Okay. Uh, Let's do it. <laughs> Mandy's giving the hard sell in the chat for being a lesbian self. <laughs> like, we also have lesbian <laughs> bed death. Yeah, that's true, too. Oh, man. Look, they love fast and they love hard. Uh, you are stalling. I so am. Okay, uh-huh. here comes my short sword. <laughs> 21 will hit! Okay, cool. Uh, right. Here's that. 10 damage to the dragon. Alright. So that's like, what, a, a thumbtack in its foot? Some... <laughs> they add up, man. Sickle. 22 will hit. Flashing. 9 damage to the dragon. So that's 19 damage right. in one I turn. I think... Extra attack. How do I... 
at the beginning of fifth level, you can attack twice instead of once. Yep. Uh, that's what I just did. Yes. Uh, right? <clears throat> well, that was your offhand. Yeah, that was an offhand. Oh, okay. You can so attack I can with go your again. main hand again. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it's like a flurry for you since we you're... haven't fought since fifth edition, since uh, fifth level. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to go with my short sword again. 27 will hit. Almost a crit. All right, at least I get to go out looking cool. All right, here it comes. <laughs> 11 oh. damage to the dragon. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, I feel a little better about this decision. All right, Mary. Right. Wow. This is a this is a very bad day. It's um yeah. What a fucked up day. Uh he there's no way that there would be any other reaction for for Merrick in this situation he would he's going to yell as he's running by clara and elrath um he's going to be running in this direction if you can see where i'm headed yep um he's running oh you're leaving yeah and he's going to yell and say he's just going to be like get out of there and just run okay and how far can I go? Because <laughs> uh, I'll go that have far. A speed of thirty. You yep. do double movement. You 60. can get sixty feet away. Yeah. Right. All right. Okay, Avalan, you have a decision to make. Uh, half the party so far has left, and half the party has stayed. Uh, Avalan is going to shit. Uh, Evelyn's going to run up to the dragon, mm-hmm. pull out his shield, can I, and he's. Uh, can, hmm? can I make a suggestion? Yes. If you get on the other side of him, you get advantage. Sure, I will have Evelyn f- try to circle around the dragon in the whole time. He's trying to get its attention. Okay. Trying to distract it and basically taunt it. And he is going to get in a defensive stance. uh, And I'm going to have him rage. Okay. And he's going to shout, I will distract it. Both of you run now. You know what's that? No, I'm going to take a defensive action. Oh, okay. Well, then. Guess what? Yes. Everybody who chose to stay and fight, I'm giving you inspiration. Great. Oh, can I, can I go to my next character? Yeah, can I carry <laughs> over? <laughs> so, Varys has left the battlefield. Yes. Adult Blue Dragon's turn. He's going to try and hit all three of you, but one by one. So let's see. Claw attack to Ellera. Fit God, it rolled a three. That's still a 15. That'll hit. It just hit. But, but I do have resistance to whatever this is. You have resistance. So, all right. Here we go. Uh... 2d6 plus 7. What? <laughs> That's rude. It's... He got big claws. 16, so 8 damage to Elorath. Okay. That's not so bad. Uh, okay, boom. 37 total. Now a claw attack to Clara. 18 will hit. It rolled a 6, everyone. <laughs> I want to keep track of this. 16 damage to Clara. Mm -hmm. And now he's going to try to use his third and final attack, a bite, on Avalan. Now, your defensive action gives it disadvantage, correct? Absolutely. Now, the bite has a lower chance of success. No, it doesn't, actually. Sorry, I thought it did. It doesn't. It's my fault. But that's fine. Disadvantage. Bite. 
Uh, Let's drop that 19 to take a 17 with a total of 29. All right, guys. Listen to me. As a player to player, you guys love your characters. You love them. You've been playing them for years. This is your time. Take it out. I'm giving it to you. Only one of us has to die right now. So lightning is going to crackle in its mouth as its maw opens and clamps down on your shoulder and arm region doing 16 damage. Okay, Elrath? That, that could have been way worse. That like That's the same amount worse. of damage it did to me with a bite. Yeah, he rolled a 2, 3, and a 4. Yeah, that on D10s. Like, that yeah. was really lucky. Uh, do I get the piercing damage halved for raging? Oh, shit, you do! So he only did 8 yes, damage! Yes, you do! Holy shit! Sorry. Good, good thinking, good thinking. Alarath, your turn. You're due. Unless you want to go. I, I, I completely understand if you do. Lisa wants her to go. Mm-hmm. What does Elrath want? Elrath wants to punch a dragon in the fucking face. Okay. With advantage, if she could. Since you got advantage. Everyone, say, everyone left in combat does have advantage. And inspiration. Okay. And inspiration. Okay. So, I don't want anybody to feel obligated to stay. <laughs> I'm just telling you that she is not thinking clearly because she is raging and very upset. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, hang on. What does this do? Okay. I was looking at what, what the enforcer does real quick. <laughs> okay. It's horde. You know, he is horde. Okay, here we go. Advantage. Drop a 13 to take a 15. 21 will hit. Yay. Okay, so I get a bonus since I'm raging because that was a melee attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get a bonus to his damage roll. Okay, so it's a be a plus seven. Oh, oh come on. Why? Why are you not? Oh my god. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to do the thing and it wasn't Stop working. Stop apologizing. You're fine. Yeah, you've known me for how long? I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, but... <laughs> One of these years. <laughs> okay. I was trying to do it. Okay, so. This damage. My god, I can't even remember how to do damage anymore. <laughs> it's been a long time. No, what? Oh. <laughs> Plus oh. seven. So. Oh, okay. Well, so 11 damage. Okay. I would also like to take my second attack. <laughs> Please <No>. do. <laughs> I don't know why that was so difficult for me to do. <laughs> I have a... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Drop a two to take a 14. 20 will hit. Yes, thank God. Okay, so again, whatever this is, plus seven, because I'll figure it out my next time. Yeah. Uh, 13 damage. Yes, yes. Bludgeoning magic damage. He's almost not green anymore, if that helps. Eee. Oh my gosh. How's the view, fellers? <laughs> what is that a third <laughs> okay I believe that's it okay okay yeah sorry oh boy okay Clara you are up <clears throat> all right so I want to set a scene the sun is setting I'd say most of the way down and the sky just illuminated with this massive streak of lightning but in reverse, right? It's coming from the ground and going up. Like this this massive light in the sky just illuminates everything. And shortly after, you guys are in a fist fight with a dragon. Half the party has run. Uh, some would say wisely so. Half the party has stayed. What would you like to do? First of all, I think I am going to... Uh... No, that's not it. One moment. I think I'm going to use Second Wind. Okay. You have a limited well of stamina that you can draw from to protect yourself from harm. On your turn, you can use a bonus action to regain hit points equal to 1d10 plus 7, because my fighter level. That's smart. Um, I have to finish a short or long rest to get it back again. All right, so the d10's the little UFO, right? Six. (laughs) Yes. Yes. All right. So I want this many, please. 
uh, plus seven. I should have done the plus seven, but yeah. it's ten because okay. math is easy. Ten hit points okay. restored. Those. All right. So, so that gonna, was my bonus. You're gonna dig down and just grit it out, right? You're just you're just yeah. toughen it out. Yeah. Um. Then she's gonna go with her short sword. Okay. Ooh, 15 uh, minutes. Wait, you have advantage. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta. I won't highlight that this time, but I'll highlight it next time. Yeah. All right. Try again. 23 will hit. Nice. All right. Um, and then it's going to do hmm, weapon attack, spend a die to add it to the roll. Um, one second. I think I have something for this as well. Uh, so I have something called precision strike. One moment. Uh, when you make an attack with a weapon attack roll against a creature, you can expend one superiority die to add it to the roll. You can use this maneuver before or after making the attack. Oh, that's just for the attack. Sorry, JK. Okay. All right. You can't <laughs> blame me. Next time. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, actions. All right. So damage. Seven damage to the dragon. All right. Uh, then I'm going to go at it with my sickle. I remember that hit. time. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, then this. Nine more damage. Then I'm going to attack it again with my short sword. Because I here, let me double check though. I don't think extra attack counts as bonus action. Uh, no, it's it's attached to my attack action. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I didn't want to cheat. Just wanted to be careful. All right, and again with the short sword. Twenty six will hit. Almost, almost a crit. Uh, seven more damage to the dragon. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to use my action surge. Okay. You can push yourself beyond your normal limits for a moment. On your turn, you can take one additional action on top of your regular action and possible and a possible bonus action. Wait um, a sec. Hmm? Is action surge... Is that a bonus or anything? It's just a thing. Yeah. It's a feature. Yeah. yeah okay. It's not a bonus. That's why I was reading it out loud to gotcha. double check. Yeah. So I can use it twice before a rest. Okay, let's do it. All right, and short sword again. Oh. Wait, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, we'll drop I, that crit. I took the two. Yeah, yeah we'll, tra- took the we'll two drop that uh, crit miss and we'll take right. the two. Uh, so All that's right, gonna I'm going to use precision attack. <laughs> <laughs> I add... Oh, wait, no. I don't want to use precision. That wouldn't even help. Never okay, mind. Okay, I was about to say, are you sure? I'm going to add a d10 to that, too, and it'll definitely mm-hmm. hit after that. <laughs> okay. Avalan. They're not running. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, Avalan straight realized... up, I'm not going to run until Elrath dies or runs. That's... Yeah, uh, a- Avalan realized. Oh, no! <laughs> basically, like, essentially, all the Oh, the cowardice has left the building, so this is it. (laughs) This is it, baby. We're in this. So he's going to attack just straight up. Let's do it. Don't forget, you have advantage. Yes. So you're surrounding this dragon as it just takes pot shots at you. It's a little distracted, so that's good. Oops. (laughs) Wrong thing. What? That was absolutely the wrong thing. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled damage first. But I got ahead of myself. This is the actual roll. Oh my goodness. We'll drop an 8 to take a 10. 14 will miss. I am above level 5, so I will use my second attack now. Good. Advantage. Hopefully this goes better. Long sword. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We'll drop oh, a 1 to take a 2. 6 will miss. <laughs> You know what it was? You took that shot at your teammates. I'll take another shot. Action surge. <laughs> at the dragon. Okay, good. Here we go. Third time's the charm, baby. Yeah, I did not roll that. Oh. That is a crit! Oh! There we go. Didn't even need advantage. <laughs> I, I don't roll in the crit table, though, I think, right? It's uh, too... No, you rolled a no. two, so no. But you That's still do... Is it double damage or max damage in 5e? I it's actually forget. Double, it's double dice. So double dice. Does it do it automatically? Shift, ah, it should, but shift, yeah. Shift. 
14 damage to the dragon. <laughs> and I get one more attack. Holy you, shit. Does that include your rage damage, too? I haven't been including that the whole time. You we should. haven't been doing damage the entire time. Oh, absolutely. Time. This is the first round I've done damage. <laughs> how much is your, how much is it? I think it's just what a plus it, two, right? Uh, whatever your barbarian level is. Oh, then that's two. All right. Yeah. Hold on. I'll add that. It's just 16. Every little bit counts. Yeah. Okay, bye now. All right, one more attack. We can, we can do this. We can do this. 20 will hit. Beautiful, beautiful. Three damage to the dragon. Plus, plus two. Plus two. Plus yeah. two. two. Boop, boop, boop. Done. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. Dragon's turn. <clears throat> Clara did the most damage that time. So two claw attacks for Clara and a bite to Avalan. All right. Here we go. Claw number one. 18 will hit. Oh, wow. Minimum damage. Nine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Claw attack number two to Clara. Ooh, 23 will hit. 14 damage to Clara. And a bite to Avalan. Ooh, 30. <sighs> Oof. Shit. You're raging, though. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, oh boy. let's plus seven and uh, uh, uh. here we go. Oh, wait, that's too many. Too many. Ignore me. There. 18 damage. So, nine. Nine damage to Avalan. So that could have right, went... Right. That could have went way worse. Alaref! You guys are getting the shit kicked out of you. There are no healers. Whatever you have, beyond true grit, is it. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm seeing... What? Sorry, that was the end of a round. I gotta do something. That's a one. Never mind. Keep going. Okay. Is that, is that good or bad? Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Second, first, same as the first. Let's do it. Advantage, enforcer, go. Give me something good. 17 will just miss. Just. uh, Okay. Uh, I want to use my inspiration to re roll that. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, we got to pop those. I forgot. <laughs> Do I still get advantage with the re-roll? No, it's just a single roll. Is it? Okay, sorry. Okay. That's I'm glad I asked. It. Stop being sorry. Never. Ah, well, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's okay. Great try. Extra attack, then. Maybe on the back swing. Yeah, that's almost a crit. 25 will hit. Okay. Now, I had this figured out. Why is it not working now? Of course. When it's not my turn, I could do the plus seven <laughs> over here. <laughs> so please, I'm sorry, just add seven to this. If you if you go down to the modifier and just roll up the mouse wheel, it'll do it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying, and it's not. Or if you click it and type in the number, it'll do it. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You, sir, are a gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> well, minimum damage, but still. Eleven damage, though. Okay. Uh. Da, da. Plus, As a result, oh god, no! Why of being bloodied? This dragon is going to lash out and try to strike each and every one of you with its tail. You're so... You could take back the gentleman and scholar thing. I understand. Well, that. it's not you; it's the dragon. Plus it's, the dragon. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> uh, yeesh. So it is going to. Uh, god, let's just let's just do this. Hold on. Uh, and you, and you, here we go! It will hit every single one of you. What kind of damage? Bludgeoning. Resistant! 
<laughs> Avalanche 2. Okay, so here's Sorry, what we'll Flora. do. Yeah. Okay. This is just 2d8, though. Ah, Fun. 16 damage. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. Time for fun maths. I won't yell at you like Val did. Thank you. It's all I ever want in another human being. Just don't <laughs> yell at me like that. Ate you rat bastard! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, did she bring back she thought she was muted. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> 26 total damage to Avalan. 45 total damage to Clara. Oh boy, let's see. Hold on. 37 plus 9. 46 total damage to Ellerath. Why 9? Wait, what? Oh, I'm an idiot. 8, sorry. 45 total damage <laughs> to Ellerath. I just wanted to, one to grow on, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Uh, was there anything else to your turn? I think that's it. Okay, Clara, you are up. All right, here we go. The good news is you know you've you've eaten at least half of its health. That is true. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Okay. I don't have a healy thingy. That's that's I done. thought you had two. I, nope. No, I get two action surges. Uh you do? my second my second wind. Uh John, on your turn, you can use... Once you use this feature, you must finish a short or long rest before ah, you can use it again. Got so it. second wind. I thought I had potions, but I don't. So that's too bad. Anyway, I'm going to hit potions, this dragon. Yeah, I think the potions were in the pockets of... Um... Of the of the people who ran, yeah. No, I, I can't imagine. give them shit. I wanted to run so badly. No, no, like, no, no. I can't. No. I can't have a roll decide whether or not I stay and then act superior. To the people who ran. <laughs> I'm checking everybody's All pockets. Right. Okay, I am throwing this. I'm going to use my short sword with advantage. Oof. Oof. Eleven's going to miss. I, I dropped a two to take a three. Mm. All right. Um, my sickle. Twelve oh, hits. Shit. I forgot to use advantage. Let me go again just in case I get a crit. Okay. Twenty-five uh, will hit. All right. It's better though, so I hit it a little better. Uh, all right. There's my damage. Eight damage to the dragon. All right, and then I'm gonna do my extra attack. Gonna remember to hit advantage this time. Twenty will hit. Max damage, 11. 11 damage. I'm going to use my second action surge uh, to hit it with my short sword again. 24 will hit. At second action surge. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. I didn't know about that. 10 more damage. Yeah, you get it. We literally just got it at level 7. Shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) Yeah, that's... I believe everything I can do. That's a lot, though. You did a I, hell of a lot of damage. I am trying very hard. I will die with honor. Avalan. This oh, dragon shit. is bleeding. Like, you are cutting it. Like, you are... Like, it is... One would say the her. dragon would be stupid if it stuck around. It should probably just run away. Could I possibly roll a... God, this is gonna. This is a little cheesy. I don't know if I should ask this. Oh, now I, I want to hear it. I want to roll like a charisma to like bang my shield and kind of like use my shield to like annoy it as much as possible to really get its attention focus locked on me. I want it to eviscerate me um, or try. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I just I just want to roll charisma to see if I could you know. Okay, remember you're like an ant to this thing, so yeah. it has to be a high one. I have to, you know, it's it's tough, but I just also really you got Clara on the other side, like stabbing and cutting this fucking yes. like over and over again. Okay, let's I'll go. Try. Is it uh, like okay? Didn't know if that was like persuasion or anything. <laughs> yeah, let's see if you're. Oh my is. god! Well, did you roll that? Check charisma check. Yeah, Holy I guess shit. So. That's a 20. Okay. Well, it is going to roar. I tank for my friends. 
<laughs> it's gonna roar in Clara's face like it is going to attack her next. So you're just gonna see like spittle and sparks and stuff like that and kind of crackle around your your metal armor. And then from behind, Adeline's gonna make some god awful noise. And it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be so vicious and loud that the dragon interprets that as an immediate threat. Like, oh shit. Like it you have proven that you can hurt this thing. And so, when yeah. it turns around, Evelyn's going to put his shield like a shield wall in front of you and just tap it twice. Okay. And he's going to go on a defensive action. Okay. Um, would one of you be so kind as to roll a d20 for me? I'm going to do this at the end of each round. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh that's wow. a one. Never mind. Oh. This dragon is going to whip around. Open its mouth. I knew it recharged. I didn't want you guys to go. And fire a stream of lightning in a direct line. This is some Kamehameha shit. This is a lightning bolt in a five-foot line out from him. Now, oh boy. Um, the good news is you get to do a dexterity save. Now, what will we use my inspiration? Okay. The bad news is the save is a 19. Okay. Are you ready? Absolutely. Let's do it. Before I roll this, I just want to say it's been a pleasure. And once I go, I want you guys to... Can, can I shout anything or something? like? Can I just... Before, just like as it's rearing its mouth, can I just can I have one more word to shout or something? I'd say between you banging your sword and it whipping around, you got like uh, you got a second. When that happens, when that kinetic kinetic energy is building up in its mouth, the last word, Evelyn, or last words, Evelyn will say to people that can hear him. She's gonna just scream it. Thank you. He's gonna brace himself. Get ready. Dexterity saving throw. 18. <sighs> 63 damage will be instant death. Okay. So this... <sighs> you're going to feel the shockwave. This, the static in the air. Your hair is going to stand up. And you're going to see this... Blast. This 90-foot line of raw kinetic power rip through Avalan. It is going to cook him in his armor. His sword and shield are going to drop to the ground as this blast it's this concussive wave that hits the dune behind him and arcs into the sky. Alarath, your turn. Okay, sorry. I'm really like waffling here. Because, like, on the one hand, I really want her to shout at Clara to go. Which she probably would, but she won't leave herself. So, she'll do that. She'll just yell, like, get out of here! And then swing on the dragon again. Okay, uh, let's do it. What is it, plus two since we're adjacent? Yeah. Okay. Oh, why? Wait. What? Oh, I'm an idiot. Sorry. We're all that... still marked as unconscious. I'm sorry. Kind of took a little bit out of there. Uh, okay. What was the... The better roll was a 13, which would have been 20. 21. That'll hit. Okay. So. Still raging. So, plus, here we go. 12 damage to the dragon. Extra turn. Oh, well. Oof. Okay, Bummer. ten's gonna miss. I All right, we lost it. advantage. Yeah. yeah. Um. You could choose to move on the other side of it. I was gonna say she would almost. Could she have made those attacks while she was running over so, to Avalan? Yeah. I. Because I mean, I imagine that's like the shock of. You yeah. Know what I mean, like you're. Yeah. So okay, you're on the other side. Yes. Clara. Okay. 
And she's yeah. also trying to like distract it as she's running around there. So Clara can escape would be her other reasoning. I think everybody who was going to leave left. I yeah. know. Yeah. All right. Can't blame her gal for trying. Not at all. Clara. All right. Gonna keep doing all the things I've been doing. Advantage again, though. So that's yep. good. Yep. All right. Sword, sword. 22. 22 will hit. Oof. Base damage, six. Uh, okay. Sickle. Advantage. I wish it wouldn't unmark advantage if I like, if nothing else has changed, but it's fine. Ah. 26. 26 will hit. Eight damage. Eight damage. Short sword again. 17. 17 will miss. Damn it. Um, wait, I want to expend a superiority die, which is a 1d8, and add that to the roll. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Seven, Seven more. Hits. Hell yeah. All right. And then nine more damage. Nine more damage. This dragon is <sighs> hurt. Like, really, really hurt. Not hurt enough. Are you done? I think I have to be. I used everything I got. Clara, Elrath, both of you roll a d20 for me. <laughs> okay. Dragon's turn. Oh, come on. No, it didn't. It did not. <laughs> <laughs> You could see that, right? No, I cannot, Wait, but I'm just assuming that that sigh was a recharge. It was a recharge, yeah. But you guys are scattered, so it makes it a little difficult. Mm. All right. Claw attack for each of you. Let's do this. He is down to his last. Like, he is... I'd say he's too hurt to fly away at this point, because it's so fucking, like, he has expended so much of himself. Like, it... it he didn't anticipate you put up this much of a fight. So. Elrath first. Claw attack. 16 will hit. Just hit. Well, With a four. That's a roll of four. Just yeah. so everyone knows at home. Mm. But I have resistance. So you hopefully have resistance. it's not too bad. 18 damage, which nine. is reduced to a nine. Uh, let's all do math. 54. 54. Thank you. Sorry, nine's my favorite number. I can count nines all day. Oh, sweet. You're welcome. <laughs> Clara, your turn. And claw attack. Crack yeah! one! Oh, thank God. Did it roll on the table? It rolled Bumble? on the table. 11. Hold up. I gotta see what 11 is. Holy Cut shit. Cut off their own fucking head. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> oh no, my scales. <laughs> How embarrassing. It pees in its own mouth like we were talking about earlier. Oh no. Damn boy dragons. Uh, hold on. <laughs> it is blue, so. <laughs> With your gender coloring. Oh my god. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, the table's malfunctioning, and it didn't pull up the damn thing. So, now, hold on. Crit fumble! Eleven! <gasps> oh, okay, I got excited. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. You critically hit an ally. If this is impossible... Well, okay, he can't lose his weapon. So, you know what? Mm -hmm. It's gonna do damage to itself. <gasps> yes. So, whoopa! Nine damage to itself! Okay. Wow. That is the end of this dragon's turn. Elrath? Oh, yeah. As you ready your flail. Okay. A massive fireball is going to streak what? across the dusk sky and slam into the side of this dragon. Fuck. If you were to turn around. Oh my god. The royals are going to be standing Fuck on a dune. Me! God damn it! Oh! I thought it was Zalu. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, Jason. No, 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 no. Uh, you are more than welcome to take your turn. 
I will still take my turn. I'm just like, I don't want to be saved by those assholes. But damn it. Okay, sorry. Again, I apologize. I'm very Stop happy. apologizing. No. Oh, we're going to drop that one to take a 16. 22 will hit. Thank Christ. 12 damage to the dragon. It is reeling. It is going to lower its head, and one of its eyes are going to narrow. Its iris is going to adjust to take in Elorath. And if this works, I really want to hit it square in that eyeball with my flail. Almost a crit. 25 will hit. 12 will kill the dragon. Oh my fucking god. To clarify something, the fireball that streaked across the sky was more of a distraction than anything. I thought it it was like hitting the dragon. I'm sorry. it, It slammed into the side of it, but it was more like... I thought that's where you were saying the nine damage came from. No, because the no, 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 no. It 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 was injured. It basically injured itself in the confusion. Well, I don't think that'll matter. I'm pretty sure the royals are going to take uh, credit for this. They so that's might, cool. but I'll kill him too. Elrath oh and Clara, you are going to gain two levels. Oh, from fighting <gasps> this dragon. Okay. All right. I'm not as mad anymore. <laughs> I'm. I feel very badly for Zach and Mandy. Yeah. I do. Zach dude, just... I, I just got fucked, dude. I just got completely fucked. Mm. Oh, it happens. I think that's a good time for us to stop the session for this evening. I am so sorry to both Zach and Mandy that... I mean... <sighs> Oh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I want to say something reassuring. Like, man, that was a really cool way to go out. But Jesus. I mean, I mean it was. It was, like, was yes. <laughs> I was, like, of a way to go out. Uno was correct in that. Like, the dragon is the way you want to go out in D&D. Oh, but, God. like, that's me saying that as someone who didn't. So it's not really fair. But that's what I was yeah. telling myself throughout the entire fight. I tried to sacrifice myself for you guys, which works, I guess. Yeah, yeah we're all we trying to sacrifice ourselves. Yeah. Oh, here's well. the thing: if Elrath had gone down, Clara would have taken the fuck off. Well, Elrath and Avalanche, she wouldn't have just abandoned him unless he told her to. But like Elrath telling her to go didn't have the same effect. Yeah, it's like there was kind of more of a "fuck you" reaction. Uh. I just, <laughs> I think the dragon. I don't even mind dying to the dragon. It's just we killed it with three people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. that, that kills my soul. That kills my soul. Yeah. Oh, my God. Man, we hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It's been a while since I've done one of these closing out the episode things, but I have something important to talk to you guys about. Theriathon is coming. Theriathon 2020 will take place on April 25th. 2020 and it'll be from noon eastern to midnight eastern we'll be doing 12 hours of groups playing and all kinds of stuff and we really hope you guys can show up now here's what we need you to do one we would love a video of you talking about three things you don't have to do all of them but pick one that really speaks to you you could do an impression of our show's intro the let's do that thing i'd love to see that and kind of splice them all together You can talk about your favorite moment in the show. You could talk about what you'd like to see from us on the future or where we might be in five years. Go nuts. Pie in the sky. Do whatever you like. But send those videos to dandrpodcast at gmail.com. That's dandrpodcast at gmail.com. And I'll start editing videos for Theriathon and you'll be part of the show. If you don't know about all the stuff we posted on patreon.com slash D-A-N-D-R, there are four groups total playing now, two each month. Uh, we have um, uh, Wardens, I believe, will be going live this month. I'm not sure. Um, I know we posted the practice, practice session, but we have an actual 
official episode for that. That's our superhero RPG. We have New Bloods, which is our Vampire the Masquerade RPG. We have uh, Stars Without Number. Uh, that is our spacefaring RPG. And then, of course, we have DRP, which is just utter chaos taking place in the world of Theria. On top of that, we have a brand new Completely Unbalanced coming up for you guys. We have just, honestly, way too much stuff to keep up with. But if you're looking for content and you want to help support the show, it helps us immeasurably. If you go to patreon.com slash D-A-N-D-R, and if you get a chance, give us a five-star review on iTunes and send us a review. Let us know. Like, let us know what you're thinking. On top of that, just spread the word about the show, and it helps us... Just more than you'll ever know. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week with a brand new episode. And take care.